Lazy Sunday or Dina B? Mm. Probably Dina B. Any reason? It's a better song musically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Usher or Justin? <laughs> Fuck. I probably should have just immediately said Justin, right? <laughs> no. I, if you listen to Usher more, and then you listen to Usher more. I think I probably, if you took like their top five hits, I yeah. probably would take Justin. I'll still be out at a place and my love will come on. That beat will come on. And if I've had a drink or two, I'm just like, oh. Like it's so dope. Yeah. But they're both great. Uh, what did you learn from Timlin uh, through Justin? Uh, recording anything any wisdoms any he knowledge he, passed he told us he said the second time he came back they had just made that album and he was we were like dude my love that song he was like dude i walked into the studio that day and it was playing he was just playing that beat and i was like what the fuck is this and i was like i hadn't even started thinking of what to sing on it and i already knew it was a hit he said uh i, I think yorma keith said that uh after justin saw dina b he also said the same thing According to Yorm, he said it before we even wrote it. Oh, right. He we just went and told up. him the premise. He's that's like, right. oh, that's dope. That's going to be great. Yeah. I have, a, I have a memory of him being very confident and liking that idea. But we had already, I will say, we had already decided that we wanted it to be like in that early 90s R&B style. Right. So I think he was like connecting what we had also been connecting, which is like marrying that idea to that backdrop is funny where you have these sort of like unreliable narrators basically who think that it's super cool and sexy and it's obviously not meeting athletes and musicians that are like killing it in the moment. You've never understood confidence until you meet people that are in those moments. When you... Who's the other, who's an athlete that you met that, at that pinnacle? Curry? No, Curry was so nice. The one time I met him, he was not super cocky at all. I was on Fallon once with um, that dude, Bryce Harper the the baseball player and he was super nice but it's just like like cheated in like the goofy tonight show game to win but then he throws it on the ground drop the mic boom hey is that it the uh, marshmallows yes um. <laughs> i was like this dude's competitive and confident it's a, just a different mentality like you are getting up every day being like i am the best you know you see all these interviews with people that are like are you the best player in the league and they're like yes why would I even get up if I didn't think it? And I do not relate to that. Yeah. To me, I'm just like, I'm just scrambling to make sure anyone thinks it's not terrible. <laughs>